Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Absolutely gorgeous out here this morning. Let's keep everybody up on the East Coast there in the Carolinas, everybody in the path of that darn Hurricane Florence. Let's keep them in our prayers. As beautiful as it is here right now this morning, as people are being pummeled by wind and rain. Gorgeous out here, some really low lying clouds here, very, very low clouds. Lens adjusted there. No chance of rain here today. <laughs> At least in the forecast this morning, no chance of rain. <laughs> you never know in Southwest Florida when it's gonna rain. We're down in Area 2 right now. I don't see much of anything shell-wise here on the beach down here. The beach looks pretty darn clean. One of our park rangers down south there making his rounds. Picking up trash, unfortunately. Picking up trash. One of our few remaining sea turtle nests over here. Nest number 43. I don't know if we're going to see any action with that one or not. That should be getting close. Really close. We had a line of nests right here along the beach at one point. They've all hatched. Some, unfortunately, were destroyed by raccoons. Great morning out here. Good morning. Matt, how you doing today? Good. Is that hatched? Yes. Oh. Uh, this was, uh... I believe on the 4th of September. Oh, wow. Okay. Nice. Well, that's good news that some of them made it. Yeah. So we'll uh, see what we can find here. Oh, are you going to do that now? Yep. You're going to check out and see how many eggs actually see how hatched? how many uh, I can find. Oh, wow. That's interesting. What, what our ranger's going to do here is he's going to verify how many of the eggs actually hatch they keep pretty good records here at the park where else do they do this uh should be everywhere um, it should be <laughs> yeah everywhere. i mean they don't do this down in collier along all the beaches do yeah, they everywhere they... that you see a uh a turtle cage uh -huh. um they they should be keeping the records um, yeah. as far as verifying you know what it hatched interesting because i i thought the county they just mark a crawl whether you know, they that, don't verify if that i'm not entirely sure that's what um, that's what one of the rangers told me so the county just marks everything so i don't know because they mark it a, a bit differently they mark off the whole site you right. know they put a, a huge yeah, they don't even I, put a cage i, I don't think i they. believe uh next season we're actually going to start doing something similar really um, 
and we're just changing up our, our cage design a little bit make it a little wider um, maybe a little deeper yeah they're gonna be <laughs> they're gonna be taller wider longer that way yeah. uh, we can cover a larger area um, yeah and hopefully stop some predation from raccoons yeah it was sad seeing all those nests destroyed this season yeah I think they just got pretty hungry after all the storms. Oh we yeah, had. you know there there yeah. aren't any sea grapes. And now they're just starting. To yeah, pop, but you know they haven't had much food. I mean, during the red tide, I didn't even see the raccoons. No, I know they were here, but I didn't see them. They now I'm starting to see them running around. I saw a mother with a couple little babies the other day crossing the road out here. Yeah, starting to see them a little more now. People think they're so cute, but <laughs> until they steal their they'll, lunch they'll or their you. wallet or their jewelry. <laughs> so those are the empty casings right there. Yep. The those are all empty. Those are all hatched. This is what they look like here, folks. They're about the size of a ping pong ball. Soft, leathery kind of feel. These are loggerhead sea turtle eggs that have hatched. Well, good luck there. Thank you. I know it's a stinky job. Yeah. <laughs> they smell pretty ripe sometimes. Yeah, normally when it's just the hats like this, they're they're not too bad, you know. If we have some infertile eggs. Uh-huh. Yeah, bad, but it seems like this was a pretty good. Uh, yeah, it looks like it so far. Did Just the so raccoons get into this one at all? Uh, it was predated. Um, I'd have to look to see how many they got. Um, but they didn't get them all. Oh, they wouldn't goodness. be wouldn't be down here. Yep. Matt is the guy that called me and told me about Roy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I couldn't believe it when I got that phone call. I'm like, what? Ugh. How's he been doing? All kinds of things are running through my mind. <laughs> He's doing good. Roy is doing good. His leg is slowly mending, healing, but I don't think it's ever going to look right. Yeah. I mean, he lost a big chunk of flesh there. I mean, he's, he's lucky to be alive, and then he's lucky to have a leg. Yeah. I mean, it was at times they were talking about possibly having to amputate his leg. And he didn't want to hear that. He's determined to be, be back out here, but he oh, said he's, sure. he's never going in the water again. Ever. All right, I'm going to mosey it down the beach. Have a nice morning. All right, same to you. All right. Well, that's good news. Although the raccoons got into that nest, they still had some survivors, some hatchlings. So that's great news to hear. Hopefully that's the case with all of the nests that the raccoons got into. Hopefully they didn't destroy all of the eggs. I was watching one of my old videos and I had forgotten that how many eggs that they could potentially lay in one clutch. And the ranger said 50 to 100, 150 eggs. That's a lot of eggs, 50 to 150. But as we know, those sea turtles are up against some big odds for survival. One in a thousand makes it to come back and nest. So the more eggs they lay, the better odds they have of protecting their species. I don't see any shells down here. Like somebody just took a big broom and swept the beach off here. The water is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful.
Looks like some fishermen up here, up in area three. And there's our ranger still over there. What he's doing is he's digging down into the, the old sea turtle nest and actually verifying, counting how many of the eggs actually hatched. A lot of fish jumping right out here in front of me. Pretty good records on the hatchings here. The sea turtle hatchings. So that nest actually hatched on the 4th that we were looking at back there with Ranger Matt. There's another one, 53. That's got to be getting close to hatching if it didn't hatch already. That nest we were looking at earlier was nest 43. You can see the darn raccoons have gotten into this. But if you're watching, some good news from the ranger, they're going to modify these cages. They're gonna make them a little bigger, wider, a little taller, so they can go down a little deeper in the sand. Hopefully prevent those raccoons from getting in there and other predators. So that's, a, that's some good news. So we'll see a different look to these cages next nesting season which starts in, what was it, May? Starts in May of next year. Sea turtle nesting season. So that'll be interesting to see the new look. There's a lot of fish swimming out here along the shore. And these fishermen up here just hoping to get a bite. I can see all kinds of little bait fish jumping up in the water here. And every once in a while you'll see a school of them. Other fish come swimming through and the little bait fish are just jumping out of the water. The water just starts churning. Those low clouds that were out here earlier, they're all starting to just dissipate, break up. It was almost like a fog. It's supposed to be clear, clear today, no rain. Got some clouds out in the Gulf. But other than that, we're in good shape. There's nest 56. Keeping our fingers crossed that we have some little sea turtles pop out of there. Even though the raccoons did get into it, hopefully they didn't get all of the eggs. Well, while you're watching this beach walk and watching me out here in this beautiful weather down here in Southwest Florida, Let's not forget those people that are dealing with Hurricane Florence. I've had plenty of first-hand experience with hurricanes, and it's not fun. Please keep those people in your prayers. All the first responders that have left their homes and gone up there to help as soon as the storm passes. Let's not forget about them either. Looks like the tide's pretty low again this morning. Very, very calm again this morning, just like yesterday. Very flat out there. Incredible. Sure would be great to see a dolphin come swimming by. Just never know when they're going to show up.
Any luck this morning? Uh, any dolphins yet? Not, not yet. Right after I saw you yesterday, I got a bunch of fish. Did you? Yeah. Oh, wow. Awesome. What'd you catch? Uh, I got two stuff yesterday and then two bigger jacks. Jacks. Yeah, the jacks. They were, they were fun. That is awesome. Well, good luck. Thanks. Have a good morning. Right? Yep. Snook and Jack running up and down along the shore here. So glad to hear the fish are back. I have a friend of mine that comes out here. He has to use a walker and unfortunately he can't get out to the beach. But he hangs out up here in area three. Right up here. This is a great little place here to sit and enjoy the beach. This is up at the north end of parking lot three. I'm giving away a secret because I love coming here and setting up for sunset. He calls this his sky box right up here. You can see it's a bit elevated. It's at the end of the boardwalk. And it's got a nice little bench over there. But my friend Gary calls this his sky box. So he'll come out here with his walker and he sets his little grill up over here and hangs out all morning. That's all, that's down at the end, the north end of parking lot three. The parking lot's just right down over there. You can see it's not much of a walk to the beach from the parking lot. And back, I don't know if you can see it here with the sun. Back over in here, there's some pic more picnic. There's some picnic tables and barbecue grills back in there. All along, the, just on the other side of these trees, there's a path. I've walked on that a few times during our live feeds, but just behind these trees, there's a path that pretty much parallels the entire beach. And there's barbecue grills and picnic tables scattered out all along that path. Look at those colors, the greens and the blues. Isn't that spectacular? Absolutely gorgeous. Those ranger mats. Just going up here to check on another nest. Just another sea turtle nest. Just checking if it hatched. Boy, it's extremely quiet out here. Not a whole lot of people. Still not running across any really nice shells yet. They might all be out in the water. Kind of smells out here because of the rain. The mangroves, the standing water back in the mangroves off the, behind the beach, it's kind of stinky. Morning. How was the fishing? Good. Good? Yeah. yeah. Great. Two snook? Awesome. Oh boy, it smells really good here. Nice clean air. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous.
Where's those dolphins? Where are they? have they been hiding the past couple mornings? They're out there. The question is where? <laughs> where and when will they come by? Barely see the horizon out there this morning. Almost blends right in with the sky. Ranger Matt is checking out another nest up here. Looks like the raccoons got into it, unfortunately. That's sad. This would have been, this is nest 60. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. Oh, those buggers. Yeah, this one is definitely a predation. They you got in. They dug right out underneath the... Uh, yep, they got right under the screen there. Darn it. Doesn't look like they got a lot of them, though. No. It's uh, that's a, pretty good. That's a good sign. We had 48 that I found in that last one. So 48 that hatched? Uh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, so that was a pretty good one. Yeah. That could. That's probably around half of them, huh? Yeah. Give or take. Yeah, that's sometimes they're uh, yeah. smaller nests. Yeah, well, that's good odds. At least some of them survived. Yeah. At least they survived the beginning, the first stage. Yeah. I mean, that's why they have so many babies. Yep. In place. They're not all gonna make it. One of these days, I'm gonna get lucky and see an emerging. Yeah. <laughs> I've never witnessed one yet. I haven't either. Definitely be a sight. I was at the wrong end of the beach yeah. two two times. <laughs> oh. Well, let's see if we can find any shells. I'm starting to see a few shells here along the beach. Well, that's good. It doesn't look like those raccoons got a lot of those eggs there. Everybody's got to eat. It's just sad. You see them get into those nests. Well, I've been, I've been seeing a lot of slipper shells. I haven't been picking them up, but I've been seeing a lot of slipper shells on the beach. Our good old slipper shells. Let me just turn it over. You can see how it looks like a little slipper. Starting to see some walkers showing up here. That's a good sign. Two weeks ago, this beach was empty. Nobody out here. Not even no, not even birds. There were no birds. There was no wildlife, no fish, no people. This beach was desolate because of that nasty old red tide. Hey, looks like Scott's out here. Scott made it out this morning. He's beating me to all the good shells. Oh well. My wife says I have enough shells. So there you go, Linda, he's really down here. What you finding? Not a whole lot. 
was kind of it was kind of bizarre little black hell almost looks like a cockle shell but it's black i don't know what it is black mold black mold <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh, crap <laughs> it does look like a cockle yeah. with those ridges weird huh that's a new one for me yeah. i don't know it's Boy, probably, beach probably flesh eating bacteria be careful i know <laughs> i'll be careful don't worry uh how are you this morning all right same old same old this beach changed a ton just in a week i know it's oh, incredible it's just weird it's the low tides are kind of been really low too i, I mean we're halfway between tide. high and low tide now and it's yeah really low right now it's just really strange yesterday was incredible the low tide but no oh. shells that i saw yeah, I haven't seen much of anything yet, except this beauty. <laughs> the black beauty there. The black there. beauty, I don't know what that is, but... I was uh, fine. Any shells I was finding, I found up here. Yeah. I didn't find any down along the water there. That's been a pretty good high tide to be way up here, though. Yep. That water's low. I don't know what phase the moon is in, if it's... It's a crescent, I know. Oh, so that... It's probably getting ready to go in for new moon. Yeah, because when it's a full moon, it affects the tides tremendously, but... Did you see something jump yeah, out there? Just fish play on the other side of the buoy, maybe. Uh, I saw something out there. I have not seen the dolphins in a few days. Lots of fish, though. Oh yeah, they're just jumping around out there. So you gonna? Are you gonna walk up to the pass, or are you gonna? Yeah, I think so. It looks like, based on yesterday, you can get around the trees. Yeah, now. there was some beach up there, up at the north end yesterday. That was kind of nice. I don't know how that happened? Weird. Maybe the hurricane on the other side is dragging the water out. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I don't think so. Hopefully those folks are okay. Man, Did it's I? nasty over there. Yeah, I feel sorry for everybody up there. Ooh, that's a lot of rain. To We've had our share of that stuff here, but I don't wish it on anybody. Those darn hurricanes. No way. I thought I saw something pop up out there. Maybe just, not. I've seen a couple fish jumping out of the water out there. It's like that's <clears throat> They're catching snook now. Are they? I don't know if they're in season, but they're definitely catching them out here. I think they're in season, but I don't think, as of last I knew, they weren't allowed to keep them. They're catch and release only uh, because of the red tide. Okay. Yeah, a lot of fish. They put a ban on them. It is out there. It almost looks like it's infinite. Yep. No it's, it's hard to see the horizon there. Yeah. It's, wow. It's like glass. It's perfect for spotting a dolphin. Yeah. Just need one. Yeah. <laughs> Can you get on the phone and take care of that for me, Scott? I'm, I'm on it. All right. Let me go get my phone. Maybe call Linda. She can. She's at home. She can take care of it. <laughs> she might still be snoozing. Oh, Linda's still in bed. <laughs> yeah, she was up late. Oh boy, those girls. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> you can't sleep. You can't sleep. Yeah. What are you guys doing today? Uh, Later. Did you find a Murex or something? Would you? No. Just a oh, moon. For you. A moon. Oh. I have a moon. Yeah, full of nice. Nice little moon shell. That's probably been sitting up there forever. That's a nice one. I don't know if that's a moon or the the nautica, whatever you call them, the gaudy, gaudy. Yeah, that's a nice know. one. Nice little eye. We'll find out. Good we'll finds. Clean her up. Yeah. Good <coughs> finds, Scott. Now find me a shark's tooth, okay? I'm, I'm working a on nice big idea. shark's tooth. <laughs> I put Linda on that one. She's <laughs> on one you guys going out later? Uh, Linda has to work. She's Oops. starting a new job today. Oh my goodness. Uh, down at the coffee shop down there. There's a new coffee shop up, up the road called Hello Coffee. Hello Coffee? Yep. Okay, everybody, go see our friend Linda Magyard. Hello Coffee. Yeah. That's in Benita? Uh, no, it's actually in Naples. It's in south Naples? Of, south of the border. Um, by, you know where that Zing furniture oh, is? Oh, by, <laughs> yep, Zing. Yeah. In that maybe same. Used to be a, maybe used to be a Starbucks or something. Oh, okay. So go see or visit our friend Linda at Hello Coffee. Another moon shell? Yeah, just a piece of one. Oh. Just a cute little guy. Yeah, this this is where I found my shells. The hmm. past few times I found any. They were all up in here. They were getting oh. caught in this ridge. Right. Weird. I mean, normally this is where the water is. Up right. in here. That doesn't make sense to me how this water is so yep. low. But, uh, but yeah, she starts up there later, so... Well, that's good be, news. Uh, I might be out and about for a minute, you know. Wait, what is she doing? Is, I don't know. Is she a barrister? Is she selling the I, barista? Maybe, what I do you call them? The, a barista? Can't even, I can't even say that I know. <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> I yeah. don't know if she knows, but probably, well, I would think. 
Well, Doing good for her. You do at a coffee shop. I don't well, know. I like coffee. I don't mind coffee. Have to go see her. Give her a hard time. That's most important. <laughs> Today. Don't give her too hard of a time today. No, not on her first day. We'll let her get broke in. There you go. <laughs> I don't want to get fired on her first day. No, no, please. <laughs> oh, only a half over. He tricked me. Yeah, I've been finding a lot of broken ones, but that is a very, a that nice is, half. this is a very nice Murex, even though it's a partial. Check this out, folks. This is a lace Murex. Hard to tell, might have been an Apple Murex. But check this out when you flip it over. You can see the inside of it. That is very cool. That's actually, that's a keeper for sure. That is a keeper. Nice find. Nice find, Mr. Magyar. I guess I'll stick to the highlight. Yeah, that's, I'm telling you. And there's some little clumps along here. All right, I'll catch up with you in a little. I'm going to go walk out to the sandbar. All right, I'm going to go take a stroll up there. And There's some good. Have a, have a word with some of Roy's makers up there. There you go. Maybe they can give me some guidance today. There you go. Well, when I see you, hopefully you're going to have a huge shark's tooth to show me. I'll try. Okay. <laughs> Did you walk out on the sandbar yet? No, I just got out and started going this direction. Okay. I haven't I haven't seen anything out there lately except bird poop. I left it all for you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, the water is looking great here. We'll look down to the south. Beautiful colors. It's starting to warm up already. Look at those colors, is that not gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful, beautiful blue sky here. Some seagulls out here, all the turns, I don't see, I see a few turns up to the north. All gulls here, seagulls. Another peaceful morning here. Another morning in paradise. Lots of shells along here. This is actually the top of the sandbar here. Shells kind of accumulate up on the top of the sandbar and then the waves just kind of wash them down the other side of this ridge. I'm not seeing anything. A 
hopefully Scott will find a couple nice shells we can share with you here. Good morning. How are you doing today? Getting warm today. Isn't it? Yeah. It's nice though. Oh yeah. I like it out here. <laughs> so peaceful. really seeing anything usually we'll find some whelks even some broken whelks out here huge piece of a moon shell that would have been an incredible that would have been a beautiful moon shell look at the size of that look how big that that thing is huge but it's missing the bottom What a shame. That would have been a nice size moon shell. That'd be the biggest moon shell I've seen on this beach. Well, it is the biggest moon shell, even though it's just partial. Whoa, the birds are taking off here. is up in area four, area four beach, up towards the north end of the park. A lot, a lot, lots and lots of broken shells. Yeah, whether I go home with a pocket full of shells or not, it's just always beautiful coming out here. Get some fresh air. Get to relax, clear your thoughts. So beautiful. There's a couple old whelks right here. A couple old lightning whelk shells right there. Not much left of them. Whoops. Moon shell still in my hand. I wanted to show it to Scott. There's a couple old lightning whelks. Not much left of them. I showed you. I showed you that one slipper shell earlier. There's lots of them along the beach. You want slipper shells, there's plenty of slipper shells out here. Happy Friday, everybody.
Oh darn, there's a piece of an angel wing shell down here. Those are beautiful shells. The angel wings, very fragile. This is about half of an angel wing shell. Beautiful shells. Extremely fragile. There's a great little line of shells over here along the beach. I'm sure there's lots of little ones, little baby shells in there, collectibles. Look at the pile, how they pile up over here. Wow. That's pretty neat. I'm sure there's something good buried down in there. Whoever wants to take the time to root around there, I'm sure you'll find something nice down there. there it's like a piece of a old pear whelk, maybe the side of a pear whelk. Beautiful, A beautiful Friday morning. How's everybody doing out there? Awful quiet, it's been awful quiet on Facebook for the past couple beach walks. Also seeing a, quite a few olive shells along the way here in all different conditions. Here's one that's, here's a really old olive shell down here, an old worn olive shell. Lots of little worm tips. There's a little jewel box down here next to this worm shell. Still got some of its little spines left, a little tiny baby jewel box. That's a nice little shell. There's a little cone shell over there. So when you stop, it's just like all of a sudden little things start popping up. There's a little, an old cone shell. Not much left of it. What else is down here? I see pieces of moon shells, lots of broken moon shells, unfortunately. Lots of worm tips. We're seeing lots of 
quite a few pieces of finger coral, little bits and pieces of finger coral out here. That's a little piece of finger coral. Lots of little auger shells out here. There's a nice, there's a piece. What is that? I don't know what kind of shell that is. I don't know what that is. By right, George, got me. Don't know what kind of shell that is. Piece of a tulip over here, a banded tulip. Nice little, really nice little baby olive shell right here. It's got the point on it, nice little point. Little baby olive shell. Those are nice. What's back here? There's some pretty deep piles of little shells. Right up here where Roy would be sitting is where I'm at. Up by Roy's spot. There's a couple deep piles of little shells here. And as I always say, those are the ones you got to stop and just take your time. Start looking. The more you look, the more is going to pop out at you. I did see a nice little baby conch. I meant to pick it up. Forgot where that was. <laughs> pieces. There's all kinds of pieces of shells. There's a piece of a little lightning whelk right there. Little baby lightning whelk shell. Actually, no, I'm sorry. That would be, that's a pear whelk. The opening's on the opposite side of a lightning whelk. That's a pear whelk. Tons and tons of slipper shells out here this morning. And our little worm tips. Can always find our little worm tips. These are just the ends of the worm shell. Like to find a nice big long worm shell. Yeah, there was a neat little conch shell down there somewhere. I can't find it. Gosh darn it. All kinds of beautiful little shells though when you stop and look. that so cool all the different colors and patterns move up the beach just a little ways. It's easier when they're out in the sun. Now I'm in the shade. It's hard to see the shells when you get into the shade.
Here's a nice little fighting conch down here. Beautiful little baby fighting conch shell. It's a nice one. There's a bigger fighting conch. It's got the hole in the back of it. It's a larger fighting conch shell. These are fairly common here. head up to Wiggins Pass. See what it looks like up there. See how the fishermen are doing, if there's any fishermen up there. I'm sure there will be. Another very low low tide today <clears throat> excuse me we actually have a little tiny strip of beach up here ahead of me to walk on usually there's no beach up here. Boy, there are a lot of shells along here. I mean, a lot of them. I mean, you, if you walk along here in low gear, you walk really slow. I you know you're going to find some beauties. They're just piled up on top of each other all along here. Piles of shells, look at that. Look at all those shells. It's impossible to stand here and just look around. You gotta walk back and forth. You gotta get down close to them, bend over. Get in there. It's all about the angle. If you look at them from a different angle, it's amazing what you find. I might look at this pile from this direction, don't see anything. I go on the other side of it and whammo. I see all kinds of neat little things. Piles of shells here, piles. Just waiting for someone to come through with their little shovel and rake and bucket. Start digging in them.
Look at this big, big piece inside of an old big whelk shell. It's left of a big whelk. Amazing. Somebody posted the other day. You know, think about the little animals, the little creatures that made these shells. I mean, all these shells that we're seeing along the beach were home to some living animal at one time. That's mind-boggling when you think about that, when you look at the quantity of shells along, just along this stretch of beach. And this is nothing. A piece of an old lightning well. That would have been a beautiful find right there. Not much left of that well now. Find lots of feathers out here on the beach. Our shorebirds are all returning. Just over here to the left is a little snowy egret looking for some breakfast. The tide is still going out here. I think low tide's around 11 something. Sure like to see a dolphin pop up out here. It's so flat. It has been like this for quite a few days. Very calm out here in the Gulf. Very, very calm.
can see we have a low, a weak connection right now. Nothing I can do about that. I don't know why. Every once in a while, the cellular service goes kaput around here. However, later this morning, I'll upload this video to YouTube, the entire beach walk video, and you'll be able to see it in a little better quality than it is on Facebook. It's nice having a little bit of beach to walk on up here. Usually there's nothing. Usually up here at this part of the park, there's no beach. <clears throat> and at one time it was a beautiful beach up here. A year ago, it was pretty nice up here. We had a beautiful, beautiful big beach here. Now it's all gone. I mean, you can see the beach used to come out way out here. Now it's gone. What a shame. Tropical storms, Hurricane Irma, they all took their toll on our beach up here. I wonder how Scott's doing with his shelling. He's up there ahead of me, up towards the pass. morning. The tide is on its way out here, so it'll be interesting to see the color of the water up here at Wiggins Pass. Usually gets pretty muddy. Hey Betty, good morning. A little snowy egret. Something's happening out in the water down here. I don't know what. It's a school of fish. There's just the wind swirling the water around, a little breeze. It is so flat out there. It's just incredible. Here's a little cockle shell over here on the ground with a hole in it. Probably one that fell off the tree that somebody hung. That happens often. I'm just gonna stick it up here on this big branch. That's pretty solid there, that cockle shell there. Hang that up for our friends here. Hang that up for Roy. 
hang another shell for Roy, pray for his speedy recovery. Although it's not gonna be very speedy, but he is recovering. There's another shell for Roy. And please, let's not forget all of our friends in the path of Hurricane Florence. Please, please, please keep them in your prayers. Florence seems to be lingering and not moving along. And that's, a, that's the worst case scenario for a hurricane. It's beautiful up here at Wiggins Pass. Beautiful blue sky. Water picking up the blues of the sky. It's a nice little cockle shell. Beautiful colors. Beautiful colors on that cockle. Look at that. That is a gorgeous cockle shell right there. Here we come, up to the end of the beach, the north end of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. A beautiful Friday morning. one fisherman heading up to the pass. I see Scott standing up there at the end. Well, I hope you enjoy these beach walks. If you do, please tell your friends about them. Hit the share button. Nobody pays me to come out here and do this. If you want to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. It helps with the phone bill and whatnot. Those of you that have sent a little something, thank you so much. If you want to send something, you can find my PayPal account info in the description of this post a little later after the live feed or in the description of my other beach walks. up here. How'd you do? Yeah. You mad I got ahead of you. Yeah. What'd you find? A nice tulip, A nice tulip shell? It figures. Oh, nice beautiful olive shell. Yeah, I got that too. That's a nice looking olive. Oh, that's a yeah, that's a good One looking tulip in the bottom. Yeah, missing okay. the very bottom, but that's a beautiful tulip shell. Nice find, Scott. Linda's gonna be happy you're bringing more shells home. Oh, yeah, yeah sure. like my wife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that olive is that is a pretty. beautiful olive shell there. 
That is beautiful. Some of that big pile of shells down in the north area floor. Yeah. There's so many down there though. Nice. Yeah, I mean if you sat there, spent some time, I, I can't imagine what you would find. Oh. That is a nice looking olive shell. Ridiculous numbers. That is beautiful. What else did you get? That's, That's nice. outstanding. Yeah, nah, nothing real outstanding. Some moons. Moon. Couple moons. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I found this one moon shell. I'm like, dang it! I wish I just stuck it in my pocket to show you. Can you imagine? Holy cow! Oh, that would have. How nice that would have been. It would have been huge. Yeah. I think it's gigantic. Still huge. It is huge. Yeah. I'm like, darn it! I saw that. I'm like, really? No. <laughs> I flipped it over and it was busted. Yeah. I should bury it in the sand just so somebody else. Oh yeah, you'll do it again. Gets, you'll grab gets, it again yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> somebody else gets that little thrill. <laughs> they go, oh look at the size of that moon shell down there. <laughs> you'll forget by tomorrow and go, oh man. It'll probably disappear in the tide here. Probably right. Maybe it'll grow back. Maybe. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, beautiful out That's here. That's nice. Glorious as Roy would Looks say. Looks like the water's brown going out this morning, huh? Yeah, it's real brackish in here, but yeah. it looks like the tide's still going out. Yeah, another be couple. Coming in. I think it's 11.30 or something, high to, or low tide. Okay. Yep. Still a lot of fish. Look at all in. the birds out there. Oh, yeah. They move from our, yeah. Instead of down here. There's tons of them over there. They're Look hiding. at them all. They're hiding from you this morning. They're hiding from me. <laughs> They're all across. They're all across Wiggins Pass over Barefoot Beach. My phone does not want to zoom in for me here. Whoops, wants to do that. Sorry, that's scary. The reception comes in and out for me up here. I don't know why. I'm trying to zoom in here and I wanted to show everybody all the birds out there on the point look at them all look at all those birds out there can you see them that's Fort Myers Beach in the background those condos hotels condos it almost looks like a mirage there you can see the reflections if you look closely of the condos in the water that's pretty neat so that's Barefoot Beach over there Barefoot Beach Preserve on the other side of Wiggins Pass. I got hit pretty hard over there too with the red tide. Some dead sea turtles washed up on the beach. So sad. Fortunately, I think that's behind us for right now. All that red tide. that sky though just gorgeous absolutely beautiful the blue sky and again all the birds there on the left i don't know if you can see them on the sandbar or not one fisherman Fisher lady, <laughs> a fisher lady up here. There's a little old whelk shell down here. What kind of shape is it in? All broke, an old lightning whelk. All faded. This is where we were for sunrise yesterday morning. We we're looking up the river here, up the Coquihatchee.
You can see how brown the water is, how brackish it is here coming out of the river. You can see how fast that current's moving. They definitely do not want you swimming here. That's a pretty strong current. The sky is just so beautiful out here this morning. Beautiful blue sky. That current, that current out there just swirling around. All the fish jumping. Wow. Well, we'll head back down the beach. A beautiful Friday morning here in North Naples. Keep our fingers crossed, maybe we'll spot a dolphin on the way back. Just never know what you're going to see. The water is absolutely gorgeous out here. So flat, amazing. So happy to see our beaches returning to normal. After a horrible bout with red tide.
All these trees here, these were knocked down by Hurricane Irma last September, September 2017, a year ago. She did a number on our beaches. Now, on the other side of the country, we're dealing with, or up, uh, up to the north of us, up in the Carolinas, we're dealing with Florence. Ah, Hurricane Florence. What a mess that's going to be. All that rain. Don't forget about those people. Please keep them in your thoughts and prayers. I am surprised we haven't seen any dolphins swimming by this morning. So calm out here. It's great conditions for spotting dolphins. There's a helicopter coming up the coastline here. Looks like one of the helicopters strained for mosquitoes. Went back off into the woods. What well, is the most beach we've had right in this area right here in front of me for quite a while? Normally the water's all the way up to here. We've been having some pretty low tides the past few days. You can hear that helicopter in the background buzzing around. It's absolutely beautiful out here. Beautiful. Except for the helicopter. <laughs> oh, here he comes. one of our helicopters that sprays for mosquitoes. They're just, a, just above the treetops. Pretty noisy. It's gorgeous out here. Let's step out into the water a little bit. It's beautiful. The Coast Guard's heading out. I see a Coast Guard boat way out in the distance there. Hopefully they're just heading out on a routine patrol, not out on an emergency call.
see my buddy Scott still here. Still walking the beach. He found a nice tulip shell this morning and a nice olive shell. Lucky Scott. A couple other nice little shells, a couple moon shells. But there is a pile of shells up here, just ahead of me, up in area four. In the north end of area four, there's a pile of shells that, if you're into shelling, I know you're gonna find some great stuff up here. All up in here, the beach is just covered with shells. All up in here. All the way back up to those dunes. They get really thick right here in the shadows of these trees. They start to get really thick, the shells along the beach here. Big old piece of a moon shell over there. Big broken moon shell. That helicopter coming back at me. Nice scallop shell over there. Look at that scallop shell. Nice little scallop shell. A little light on it. Lots of nice little shells here up in the north end of Area 4. Where's that helicopter? I hear him coming at me again. Here he comes, he's coming right straight at us. Right up in here. Might be able to see his lights. Just above the treetops. Just above the treetops. And they're spraying for mosquitoes. Another nuisance, bugs, nuisance bugs we have here. Nuisance critters. <laughs> Look at all these shells. I mean, pile. This is. I'm telling you, if you want to come out here and spend some time, you're going to find some great stuff out here. That tide's just getting further and further out here. So now you're gonna start finding shells out in the water here. I wanna show you the water. Again, how beautiful it is. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. Nice and clear. That's gorgeous. We look down to the south. How can you not love this place?
Just gorgeous. Little, looks like a little conch shell buried in the sand here. It's an old conch, pretty worn. How pretty that water is. It's beautiful. Sand is so soft out here. You just sink down in it. Too much work. Did you find something nice? Another Ooh. Murex? Oh, nice. A few more olive shells. An old apple. A nice little whelk. Yeah, first one all day. A nice little it's whelk shell. There. Yeah, it's a nice size. Got some nice colors on it. A little lightning whelk. Sweet. A few more for the class. Did you find it in the water? Yeah, right up on the here. beach, really. Yeah. There's got to be some good stuff out here in the water. You need to get out here with a snorkel, I think. Yeah? Yeah. You get one of those things like Mike has, that mask yeah. that covers your whole Lisa's, face. Lisa's got some of those. Oh, really? Grab one. And... Yeah. When you do that, I'll get my little camera and we'll put it up on... <laughs> Stick it to the face. It, it, doesn't, it should have a little mount yeah, up there. for a, a, But it's got a snorkel, snorkel but they usually have a little mount for a GoPro up on the top. Well, some of them do, some of them don't. I think that's an so option. Yeah. Huh. That'd be fun to go pro around. I might with... wait till the water cools off a little bit. Yep. <laughs> no sense submerging myself in this right now. It's starting to, to, it feels like it's cooling down a little bit. Maybe a little. Yeah. I, I mean, need, it's I don't need to end up where still Roy up there in the 80s. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you don't need what Roy got, that's for sure. No. Nope, not today. So you're off today, all day? Yep. All Lucky day. you. Yep, Linda doesn't go until later, so. So there you go, folks. Don't go to Sunshine Ace today. Scott's not working. Nope, no good service today. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> There's always good service. There you go. All right, bud. I'm nice. going to head back down to two where I started. All right, brother. You have a great day. I'll see you soon. All right. Good luck. Oh, yeah. I'll tell Roy. You said hi. Yes, please do. <laughs> Old Roy. All the little birdies out here on the sandbar. That looks like our turns are back up at the end here. They weren't here this morning. My screen, the screen on my phone has gone completely dark here. Can't see diddly squat. I don't know why these iPhones do that. When you spend a little time out in the sun, the screens just go dark. I don't know if it's some kind of little way they protect themselves or what.
It's looking north up in area four there. Over there, we all recognize that, where Roy sits over in that area. Where Roy would be sitting. But look at all the little sandpipers running around out here. It's so fun to watch. They just scurry around. Scott's out in the water looking for some shells now. Very, very low tide here this morning. You can hear the turns in the distance here, chirping. It's time to start heading back here. We started down in Area 2 this morning at the north end of Area 2 Beach. It was a pretty peaceful beach walk this morning. Saw a few people out here walking and jogging, fishing. Some birds, haven't seen any dolphins. Beautiful colors though, beautiful sky. When I left this morning, there wasn't any rain in the forecast for today. I don't know if that changed. The water is just absolutely gorgeous here.
Oh, here comes Ron. Our friend Ron. Moseying up the beach. What's up, Ron? How you doing today? Good, good. Man, Water. beautiful out here, huh? Water's looking good. Isn't it? It's looking great. Gosh, two weeks ago, there was nobody out here, and it was horrible. You saw the fish that swam in my pocket, right? Yeah, that was the funniest <laughs> thing I ever saw. My wife found it in the dryer. That is hilarious. <laughs> One of those little bait fish. That yeah, is hysterical. Yeah. How's Roy? All right? Yeah, he's getting better I every said, day. Yeah, it looks like he's moving around pretty good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I'm gonna go you know, it's him. like when he went for that blood transfusion, when he got back, it was a whole different person. Yeah. His attitude changed. Good, good. I mean, I think he finally realizes that the ball's in his court. Yeah. And he has to... He's looking good now. Yeah, I think. He's, got to, he's got to start exercising. He's got some hope and, now. Yeah. Yep, exactly. I'm looking forward to seeing him back on the beach. Oh, yeah. He's looking forward to being out here, believe me. Yeah, I bet he is. I bet he is. He keeps looking at the lock on the gate over there when he sits out there in the morning. <laughs> I think he's trying to figure out how to escape. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, nah, he'll be out here soon, I hope. No, probably another month. Another month, you yeah, think? Yeah, he says he's not going in the water ever again. I, I know don't... he says that, but once you get here, yeah. you know, he won't go in the water with any cuts. Oh, that's for sure, you know? around that red tide or anything else. Yeah, no, hopefully I know. he's going to be a lot more cautious out here. Yeah. But... It's not, it's not the same without him here, you know? It's not. It's like he's, he's it's an It's weird, you know? It's, yeah, he's an institution up there. <laughs> he is, he is, he is. Uh, he'll be back. Yep. He's a strong guy. All right. He'll be back. All right, Ron, awesome. we'll have a good walk. You Thanks too. for going and visiting, Roy, too. Yeah, I'm going to go That's, see him again in a couple oh, days. Awesome, awesome. He, he blue gets, cheese, right? Blue cheese. Stinky blue cheese. Stinky blue cheese. He loves it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> see you later. Ah. Uh. That's one of Roy's favorites. Ugh. Crumbled blue cheese. Oh, that stuff stinks. Woo! To high heaven, but he loves it. Or even a little piece of blue cheese, a chunk of blue cheese. That's his favorite. But Roy is doing a lot better, thank goodness. Like I said, he's made like a it's like a complete 180 turnaround since he got out of the hospital from having those blood transfusions, that blood transfusion. Just amazing. His attitude has changed. His outlook has changed. There were times where he was talking nonsense about wanting to die. I told him nobody wanted to hear that. Stop saying that. another this is one of my favorite views another one of my favorite views up the beach I always come out here and take a picture stand out in the water a little ways catch the edge of the sandbar the beautiful water the trees and the colors are just absolutely spectacular out here this morning the birds flying around We have some little birds over here on the sandbar next to me. Some terns over here. Beautiful out here. This is not paradise. That water out there. Look at how beautiful that is. Absolutely gorgeous. The little waves.
and land. So beautiful seeing the birds flying by. Look at that. Look at the water though, my goodness. It's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful out here. Thousands of little fish out here swimming around in the water. Thousands and thousands of them. Little tiny bait fish. I'm sure you can see them swimming around down there. That's what the birds are going after. Look close, you see all those little black specks moving around. That's all little fish. Thousands of them out here. Look at them all. All little fingerlings. And look at these fish. Big school of uh, Jack just came in chasing them. Did you see that? Look at that. That's Jack out there in the water. Big school of Jack. I don't know. If, see them all? That's all Jack. Look at that. Look at the school of Jack out here. Incredible. Look at them all. Look at them all. Can you see them out there? Look at them. Just going after all the little fish. Absolutely incredible. Look at them. Just an endless school of jack swimming by here. Man, some big ones out there too. Wow. That was cool. That was very cool. What a way to end a beach walk. They're just, here they come again. It's just an endless school of them. That was incredible. I hope you got to see that. I love this place. You never know what you're gonna see at any given moment. Wow. That was amazing. I hope somebody stuck around to see that. What a gorgeous view of our beach right here. That's definitely a Kodak moment. Ooh, big wave. That <laughs> just soaked me. Yeah, gotta get out. I'm right on the breakers here. Right where they're breaking. You gotta watch the end of this video. Just a couple minutes ago, we just walked into a big school of jack feeding. I wanna take a picture here, bear with me. One last, snapped off a couple last photos of our beautiful beach here at Del Norwegens. As we look to the north on a beautiful Friday afternoon. Beautiful beach walk, beautiful conditions out here. Earlier here, just saw a huge, huge school of jack swim by. Amazing. I hope that turned out. I can't wait to see the video. Water's just below my knees out here right now.
when these birds just fly inches over your head. So they fly up and down the beach looking for a meal. morning. How are you? Wonderful. Well, isn't that the truth? I think I see, I see the water, a big disturbance in the water out here. That must be that school of Jack we saw earlier swimming down the beach. Yep, thought maybe it was a dolphin. It'd be a great way to end our beach walk, seeing a dolphin. However, that was really neat, seeing that big school of jacks swim by me. I hope we were able to see him in the video. I can't wait to check that out. That was about 10 minutes ago, maybe, in the video. Well, another gorgeous, gorgeous day here in North Naples at Del Norwegans Pass State Park. I always say it a couple times, sorry if it gets redundant, but nobody pays me to come out here and do these beach walks. I love doing it. You can see the fish jumping out here, that little swirl in the water. But nobody pays me to do these beach walks. I do put a little, quite actually quite a bit of time and effort into it, taking pictures and trying to respond to questions when I can. So if anybody wants to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. And you can find my PayPal account info in the description of this post at the conclusion of this live feed. And also on other posts on my Southwest Florida Television Facebook page here. Every little bit helps. Just watch and see where those birds, they're kind of small out there, but that's a big school of fish out there. There are Jack. We saw the school of Jack chasing the little bait fish a little bit earlier in this video. There's a look up the beach. One last look on this beautiful Friday morning. A look at paradise here in North Naples. I want to thank everybody for watching. Tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time to check out all of my photos and videos. I'm sure you're going to find something you like there. When you do, hit the like and share button. I know we got people watching from all over the world. That is so neat. We also have people watching that have never been to the beach. This is the only way they get to go to the beach is through these beach walks. So I'm so happy to be able to provide that service. Well, have a wonderful Friday. If I don't see you over the weekend, have a great weekend. Be safe. Have fun. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.